Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Wins Life here. For today's menu, guys, I am going to make some liver. This is beef liver, like the calf liver, the baby beef. So, I love liver, guys. And I know a lot of people cannot handle the flavor of the liver, but it's supposed to be really, really good for you. And I love liver, so I don't mind. So, I am going to make some beef liver adobo for the ingredients. Of course, we have the liver. And then, I have salt and pepper, olive oil, soy sauce, vinegar, garlic powder, our important ginisa mix. You will never forget that. And I'm going to put bay leaves. Ground black pepper. Imagine guys, I have fresh garlic already. I went grocery shopping. So garlic, fresh garlic. Mm. And I have two different kinds of onion. The white onion for sauteing and the red onion for toppings. And I'm going to saute it a little bit though. But let's start sauteing. Olive oil. First, I'm going to fry the red onions. A bit of salt. And I'm gonna remove it from the pan. Gonna add a little bit more olive oil again. Put the onion. Garlic. So guys, this dish is just for me. Chris won't eat this. I'm making some beef ribs for him. And so guys, this dish is almost like those uh, dish that they call liver and onion. I don't know how they make liver and onion, what's the ingredients, but I don't know if there's vinegar on that one. Then we are going to put our liver now. I will set that aside. So I kind of just put the liver like this. Now just freeze a little bit until it cooks on that side without touching it. And I will put our ginisa mix. A little bit of salt. Butter. Lots of pepper and a little bit of ground pepper, garlic powder, see that guys, that's the look I want. Add our 
Lord. I need him on top. Now adding our soy sauce. I don't measure it. I just estimate it. So that's probably half a cup. I don't know if I need to add water. Maybe we can add a little bit. And our bay leaf. And then our vinegar. Again, I cannot measure. I'm better just eyeballing it. Maybe I'll add a little bit of water. Just a little bit. And because it boils already, I can mix it. And the liver, guys, you don't have to cook it for a long time. But because I want the broth to evaporate a little bit, I am going to do that. And our liver adobo is ready. See that, guys? It doesn't even look like liver. It just looks like beef. Put the bay leaf for decoration. And we're going to put our onions. It looks so delicious. Time to ruin the presentation, guys, because it is tasting time. It's tender. And we'll put onions. Let's try it if the soy sauce and vinegar is okay because I did not add anything anymore. So let's try. If you guys like to eat liver, go for the calf liver. It tastes much better for me, okay? It tastes much better than the regular beef liver. It doesn't have that really irony flavor. And I like the crunchiness of the onion. That's why I have two different kind of onion. The one for sautéing and the one just for toppings. Because I like it when it's still crunchy. It's perfect. Now I need to get some rice, guys. There's our dish for tonight, guys. You call this liver and onion or liver adobo. It's up to you. Time to get my rice. Look at that. It doesn't look like liver at all, huh? Comment down below. If I didn't say this is liver and I just cooked it without showing when it was still raw, would you think this is liver? Comment down below if it looks liver or beef.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys again on our next video. Thank you so much for all of your support. For my family that always supporting me. Thank you guys so much. And to my best friend, family, and friends. Thank you for all of your support by watching all the time. And if you're new to this channel, guys, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe, please. Again, guys, thank you. Bye for now.